So, um, I watched more than half of this. I'm not finished watching it. It's Gender Confusion Special Event. It's on at, um, Epoch Times. I think you need a subscription, though, um, to them to see it. Or maybe you could just pay for this. I'm not sure. Um, so, ultimately, it's this whole thing is tied to and most especially the T in this is what I'm focusing on. It, 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 but all of it works together. <laughs> but it's tied to pharma money. It's tied to all of the associations I keep talking about, but they're tied to very powerful elites that are pushing this. But this is it particularly goes into what is being done to children, and which is what is my concern more than anything. I'm not, I don't, adults, you're an adult, but um, there's this contagion that's happened to children and it's happening in the classroom. And then there's these secret groups that these kids are going to where adults are there and they're, they're, they're and this is what I saw in the one hospital I worked at it, what that had adolescence a couple of years ago was that the staff is, is affirming the child, even against the parents' wishes. That goes against everything in nursing we're supposed to do, yet people are doing it. Um, and they're doing that in the classroom, so they have these secret groups that these kids go to where they're affirmed, but they're also, um, they see a counselor or social worker that also affirms them never even looking into why this is happening to the child. Because again, it's this is grooming. Let's say. But besides, I guess some people say it's not strictly gender. I, well, I guess with the younger kids, I don't, I wouldn't call it gender dysphoria either. It's, but there's been some sort of trauma done. Some sort of trauma has happened to these children and it's not being addressed. Instead, they're affirming that they should change their gender. These Are these people even social workers? Who knows? So because there's that underground group, there's another underground group. I don't know the name of them. It just talked about it in this, in this video. That is the ethical social workers that are the people doing the right thing, which is looking into why, why kids want to do this. And, and and there's the contagion because it's the school, the teachers' union is very much behind this that's going on in the classroom, the Department of Education. So, but then they also have those, those front groups, your American Nurses Association, American Physician Association, American Hospital Association, American Psychi Psychological Association that are all that front, front kind of organizations that are doing it because of big, it ultimately is, is so sad because it, it, a bunch of detransitioners are, are highlighted in this and they talk about their experience, very sad, um, that they were, that the medical community failed them so miserably, um, is, is heartbreaking to me. Um, some people may know Chloe, she, she's, she, she spoke in, you know, in a hearing, what, a couple years ago to, to Congress or the House about what was done to her about, she was taken away from her loving family. Yes, loving. Many of these children are from, have loving parents that find themselves in this circumstance where they have, they don't want to lose their children because what happens is that if they don't, if the parents don't affirm in some states, DCFS will come knocking on their door. To, in, in, in some cases, like with, they'll take the kids out of the home and put them in a group home. Believe me, you, if you have a happy, loving home, you want your you. That's where you want kids to be. You don't want them to be in a group home. Um, yeah, group homes are. So. Then her mother was not allowed to see her except for one hour a week. Was not allowed to pray with her. Was not allowed to talk to her about any. Um, she, if she, if, um, the, they would end visits if she didn't call her by her Evan instead of um, her female name. And then, and then comes the, 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 the hormones, which what suppresses the, it suppresses the, the bone growth, which is really sick because it causes all this pain. 
And then comes the cross-sex hormones, which then it just basically, it castrates these children. So anybody going along with health equity, just realize that, that if, you're, if you're an ethical medical person, if you're an ethical provider, whether a nurse or a doctor, then you should be standing up against health equity. I don't, I don't care how big American Nurses Association is. Um, and they are all supporting something that's, that's hurting children. So, you know, I get really irate and mad. And it, again, it's just the passion in me because it's so obvious how this should not be, be happening. And I get that some people don't say anything because they don't know what to do. But then I also see people that are like right on board and are all full blown in this. No. And so when I see all these people in high positions in America, like I, did, I showed that website um, out for America, it's like those people are in those positions. I see them very much as criminal. I don't see this as a group. I see this as a, 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 a directed attack on children and they are in the school board positions they are in these political positions to help push an agenda that's to hurt children and because it's all about money it shows how american nurses association it's all about money to them american Phys um, hospital association all about money to them because for every kid they can get on an operating room table it's like 40 grand uh, for every kid they can get uh, you know a change get on the hormones or the yeah the hormones to suppress the the puberty and then get on the cross sex hormones it's it's like um, thousands of dollars and then here's the thing then I've known this for years these these kids when they become adult they will be for the rest of their life it, it it's it's a money win for the hospitals the, the all these associations because it's a patient for life they'll be because of all of this they've had done they will be in and out and, and many times what causes this depression in children is the actual hormones. But they're already, their head has already been messed up by the teachers and, and, and then it, these secret underground groups where, you know, after school or whatever, and they don't tell their parents and they're meeting and learning about je the gender bread. Um, you know, I, that's, that's what I saw at a hospital I worked at on the, the adolescent unit was this, the, the big poster of the gender bread, which is the three genders, the, I, I, it's nonsense. It's, it, it, it's sick. And, um, I, again, I'm going to say, I don't, I think, I think medical people that are, are going against parents' wishes and doing things behind their back. And that's what I saw this, um, this particular hospital do. Um, I don't. I don't think that's people that should have a license. I. I don't know. I think we were always taught. I mean, at least I was that you, you honor the parents' wishes unless there's some sort of harm. But still, even even if it, and most of these, as I said, the statistics. Most of these kids are from good, loving families, and and the state comes in and it, in many states and is is with DCFS, of course, um, and is tearing these families apart. And then messing these kids up. So, um, and it's it's money. That's what it's all about. So, um, yeah, I don't I don't really care who wants to call me what. Uh, this is somebody who's taught you know uh, about what you know what my lane is, what role I you know I play as a nurse. It's it's to be an advocate, and that I'm not going to advocate for this because of what it's doing to to children. And what these young adults now are going through, detransitioning, and how nobody, nobody did the right thing. So the 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 really big thing that's happening here, and I and I think because the medical profession now cares more about money and the hospitals do, this is where they've lost. They're going to lose all credibility as time goes on with this. There's already people that have no faith or trust in the medical system. And it's because of the politicians that are doing this to children, the teachers union, and all of these associations that have been buying off politicians for years to do something that's harmful to kids. And because there's that portion of the medical profession that only cares about money, well, nobody has any trust or faith in you any at all. That's now where it's reached. No longer do people trust the medical profession.